Dear Thai, dear community, my question is about practicing with difficult emotion, painful emotion. Uh, yesterday, I had a lot of that come up all at once, so it felt really big, and I wanted to practice with it, and I had read a book by Thai about um, you can bathe a big emotion in mindfulness. So I was experimenting with feeling what was going on on the inside and noticing the thoughts and bringing in the birds and the wind. And I recognized that that was very soothing in the moment. But my question, I'm just left wondering if that simple, beautiful practice is enough for healing and transforming long term, or if there's another practice you recommend for healing, like that deeper pain. Do you respect the tie, dear friend? What's your name? Christy. Christy. Dear Christy, thank you for your question. And thank you for your practice. You've been embracing this difficult emotion, strong emotion. And you want more, more of that. Huh? So it did something, I guess. It relieved something. You approached it. You reached out, you allowed it to be with you. But it has not transformed yet, disappeared, died. It is still, like the fragrance of it is still there, the air of it is still there. Difficult emotions are so beautiful because we have to like confront ourselves with them it's not like they're not one of these kind of emotions where we say yeah you know now i don't have time can you come back tomorrow they're pretty sticky so this first step you did to allow it to be and to sit with it was a wonderful step I don't think you will be able to transform this emotion, future emotions, difficulties, all by yourself and actively. But what Thay says, as practitioners, we are gardeners of a garden of flowers, of plants, of trees that cultivate the soil that plant seeds and create conditions for these wholesome seeds for transformation and healing to happen. So don't, that's what I'm saying from my experience, I'm telling myself, basically I'm speaking to myself, don't try to force healing, don't even begin to think that you are the healer, that you, it's in your hands to change it, because with that it comes the expectation that I will say when it is enough, and I will determine the degree of healing, and I will determine how much I can take, and what is a good difficult emotion, and what is a bad difficult emotion, and an unnecessary one. So that estranges me and alienates me from myself, right? My difficult emotion is me. And you embrace it, you recognize it as a part of you. And when we look at it, this difficult, if you look at it, Christy, this difficult emotion came up because of conditions. Because maybe the gardener was busy, like preparing and watering some, some seeds and flowers over there. So in this side of the garden, conditions happened to arise that this difficult emotion said, now it's our time, you know? 
The gardener looks at the other side. The parents are out of the house. Or just maybe the other way around. She's at a retreat now. She has peace. I can sense there is space in her heart right now. She never has time for me. Now is the time for me to arise and show my true self, show her show her, her true self. Come up. And you were there. You know, it came up and said hello, and you said hello. Now this is a beautiful encounter and needs to be cultivated and kept fresh and kept watered and nourished. You see, I don't know why I'm a quote person and I always have these images or stories. There's the little prince. Do you know the book, The Little Prince? And when the little prince visits the fox and uh, the little prince says, I want to be your friend. Now see, the fox as your suffering, as your difficult emotion and the prince is your awareness. I want to be your friend. And the fox says, that's not so easy. I'm a wild animal. You know, I'm a beast. You cannot just like befriend me. We have to do that slowly. And then the prince asked how I can do this. And he said, you have to come every day at the same time and bring me something to eat. But stay away. Don't come too close because I might bite you. Huh? Because I'm wild. But if you come every day, and every day you can come a little bit closer and don't forget to bring something to eat, huh? <laughs> which would be your awareness, you know, your presence, your, your readiness. I'm here. says, we cannot force an orange to be sweet. You, know, you cannot stand in front of an orange and I want to eat you. you know? In three days, I need you to be sweet, you know, because I want to get rid of this. And especially with humans, it's not working like this. It's so organic and that's so beautiful. If you just go in that human rhythm with acceptance and openness. Orange, you want, if it's in a pot, you want to put the orange in a sunny spot. You, know? you want to water it. You want to say, I love you, orange. And I'm looking forward to the day you're asleep. And the orange will do the rest. The same is true with the difficult emotions. And some might be older, deeper, more unacknowledged than others. You will see that with some it is easier, with some it is more difficult. And maybe you want to invite. This is the difficult one. Maybe you have one in pedal, you know, in line. That's not so difficult. And you can start with that. And you have already a sense for it. And it's easier to invite it. And then you say, hey you, now come on, we make a group a group hug here. I'm ready for you too. And you can slowly approach it. But it's never over. Bonded, and you have that friendship 